misses the shot. Oh, it almost went in. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Big finish. Dreams to come true. From college basketball's strongest conference, welcome to Columbus, Ohio. And the campus of Ohio State University is the 10th ranked Buckeyes take on the number one team in college basketball, the Indiana Hoosiers. It's a five team race for the Big Ten Championship. Michigan upset yesterday in Madison after beating Ohio State earlier in the week. The Hoosiers try to rebound from a loss to the Illini. That all serves as the backdrop today with Clark Kellogg, Kevin Harlan. There is a lot of turbulence in this conference. How about you call it frenzy and frenetics in <laughs> February in this great conference, the Big Ten. It is a great conference and a lot of firepower for the team right now at number one, Indiana. Plenty of firepower, Kevin, and it starts with the guy in the middle, Cody Zeller, a player of the year candidate. He simply does everything, scores, rebounds, makes hustle plays, makes big plays does it at both ends, but he's not alone. Another player of the year candidate in the conference and in the country, Victor Oladipo. Explosive, a tenacious defender, and a tremendous finisher at the rim. Everybody talks about the rugged style, the physical style of Ohio State. Very physical, and it starts at the point of attack. A couple of juniors lead the way. We start with Aaron Kraft. No better on-ball defender at the point guard position in the country than Kraft. He also leads this team in assists. Deshaun Thomas. The Big Ten's leading score 20 points a game, and he gets his buckets from all over the place, challenged or unchallenged. All that being said, take us down to the AT&T Fast Analysis. Well, we're going to stay with the Buckeyes and show you how it is that the Big Ten's leading score gets his points. A little small to big screen. That's Aaron Kraft going to screen shut Deshaun Thomas's defender. He can stop in the post. He likes to go out to the three-point line against a smaller defender. A quick trigger, splash. When you look at Indiana, great shooters create spacing on the floor for a tremendous driver in Victor Oladipo. You can't leave the shooters, and one-on-one -on -one, Oladipo is a mismatch. The Big Ten with five teams in the top 25, and we have a beauty today. Indiana, Ohio State, we tip it off next, right here on CBS. Tenacity, plated in chrome. Determination, covered in mud. Fight, firing on six cylinders. The new Ram 1500 with best-in-class fuel economy. Guts, glory, Ram. Motor Trends 2013 Truck of the Year. Is it possible Applebee's new entrees are full of flavor and under 550 calories each? <laughs> I'll believe it when I taste it. I believe it! I can dig it! Okay, a bit of an overreaction, but uh, oh, what now? Ah, the old great taste under 550 calories flash mob bed. Yeesh. The new zesty Roma chicken and shrimp and roasted garlic sirloin. Big flavor under 550 calories. Starting at just $9.99. See you tomorrow. And late night for half price apps. Hey, there's a photo booth. Come on. Okay. Okay, we gotta time this just right. Okay. Ready? Mm hmm. Happy Valentine's Day. The Charmed Memories Collection at K Jewelers. Each charm is handcrafted in Italy, and with hundreds of charms to choose from, the possibilities are endless. Turn your special moments into charmed memories. One more reason K is the number one jewelry store in America. Ready? Every kiss begins with K. 75 years of NCAA March Madness presented by Coke Zero. History was made in 1966 as the All-African-American starting five of Texas Western faced Adolph Rupp's top-ranked all-white Kentucky team. Coached by the Bear Don Haskins, the Miners were led by Bobby Joe Hill's 20 points and upset the Wildcats, winning a championship for Texas Western as well as a monumental victory for civil rights. Go to NCAA.com slash March Madness and vote for the all-time players, teams, and moments. CBS Sports College Basketball coverage is sponsored by Ram Trucks, engineered to move heaven and earth guts. Glory, Ram. By Cars.com, get the right car without all the drama. Cars.com, all drive, no drama. And by USAA, proudly serving the financial needs of current and former military members and their families. 
Well, Tom Crean has had his program in the top ten all season. His guards include Oladipo, one of the most talked about and talented players in all of college basketball. Up front, Cody Zeller was the preseason player of the year. The Buckeyes with the reigning Big Ten Defensive Player of the Year and Aaron Kraft. And Deshaun Thomas leads the Big Ten Conference in scoring, all led by Buckeye head coach Thad Mata, who has had quite a run here in Columbus. Fantastic run for Thad Mata, one of the outstanding coaches in the country, Kevin. Well, Tom Eads has officiated four Final Fours. Mike Eads is out there with eight tournaments under his belt, and Gene Steratore is here. NFL referee and college basketball official. So here we go. Both teams staggering a bit earlier this week. The top right Hoosiers losing to Illinois by two. Michigan taking in overtime the Buckeyes by two. And away we go in Columbus, Ohio. Really important for Ohio State to execute its offense in the half court. And right away a quick turnover on a careless pass. Turnovers have been a problem for Indiana here. They try to cash in. Holes with a three. And grabbed by Amir Williams, who has begun to emerge for Ohio State. Had a terrific game against Michigan earlier this week. 36 minutes he played and put together a strong game inside at both ends. Oladipo for Indiana will begin on Deshaun Thomas. That's going to be a terrific matchup. It will be, and Oladipo has tremendous versatility defensively as he was there to help out on the shot attempt by Thompson. Indiana wants to play fast, Kevin. They like to quick hit you. One of the best teams at scoring from multiple positions and extremely efficient when they do not turn the ball over. Zeller picked up by Williams. And that is Cody Zeller knocking it in. He averages 16 points a game. And one of the things that Tom Crane talked to us about, Kevin, prior to the game, was trying to get Zeller the ball more often in the low post area. A good start there for Indiana. They like him to be more aggressive. That's yeah, a two-way street. Guys have to be intentional about throwing the ball inside, and Zeller has to work and beg for it. And here he is, one-on-one -on -one against Williams, gets his body into him just enough, knows what shot he wants to get into, and smoothly and calmly executes it to perfection. After the second turnover by the Buckeyes, I sense there's a lot of freedom within this Hoosier offense. Tons of freedom. Tom Green and his staff have outstanding shooters, playmakers, and they want them doing just that, playing the game without hesitation and without fear. Victor Oladipo, player of the week in the conference a couple weeks ago. One of the most improved players in college basketball as well, and here they go to Thomas. And nicely picked up by Christian Watford. Double team Zeller because of the three point shooting that Indiana has around him. Good point. Running inside is shoved by the rugged Buckeyes and a foul right there, 17 49. Victor Oladipo, you mentioned it, Kevin, one of the most improved players in the country. Why? Because he's able to do this now. Knock down the perimeter jump shot consistently. Always a terrific athlete and defender. Great motor, but now he has refined that jump shot. Watford from outside, and Williams just picked up a foul for the Buckeyes. Here comes Aaron Kraft. Ohio State needs to get a good look here. Smith. Good rebound, too, by a very long Amir Williams, who was a sophomore from Birmingham. Chris Jen on there calling the signals from the Buckeyes sideline. You know, Thad Mata told us he wants to see his team in the half court make Indiana work defensively. Solid screens, ball movement, good pull up that time by Kraft after he got the nice screen from Amir Williams. Kraft is one steal away from being in the top ten all time in Big Ten history in that category. One of the premier defensive players, Williams inside trying to knock out Zeller. Solid screening is one way you try to attack Indiana. Beautifully done by Amir Williams. A nice job by Kraft to utilize that screen and wait for it to be set. And then he got that foul line jump shot wide open. So Williams picks up his second. Already the first wrinkle in the game. And Ravenel will come in. The transfer from Boston College and a senior. Well, that's more than a wrinkle. That's a crumple yeah, up Absolutely. Sheet. It changes things. The team that wants to be physical like Ohio State. Exactly. That stings. 
Watford. Comes up with a nice shot inside. Christian Watford. Didn't do much in the second half against Illinois, but did finish with 12 and 8 rebounds. And before that, Michigan, he had 14 points in that game. He's been in double digits in 13 straight, Kevin. Very consistent. And he's a tough matchup for most teams. Ravenel off the bench and quickly oh, hurt on the loose yeah. right there. He graduated in December, so he extends his time in college ball with this second semester work, and they're going to need him today. Nice move by Zoe, trying to carve his way in. Offensive foul. Zeller picks up his first. Good ball fake there, and then a nice job by Thomas to step in. Here from above, we get a chance to look at it. You see Thomas clearly outside of the restricted arc area and was able to take the hit in the chest. Foul on Zeller, and the Buckeyes get another possession. Thomas. And a twister in there. Zeller grabs the ball. He's averaging eight rebounds a game. And here comes Jordan Hose. He'll put up a three. He's a 50% three-point shooter. One of the best in college basketball. Crack leading the three on two. Smith. Oladipo. He knows only one speed. Zeller inside of the mismatch on Kraft. Phil. Oh, yeah, right that's textbook. Excellent ball movement. Indiana probes every time they come down the floor, Kevin. They probe with the dribble. They probe with the pass. They space the floor because they've got multiple shooters, and it's hard to close out effectively when they space you the way they do. Thompson to Kraft. Some shoving inside. There is a foul. It'll go on Oladipo of Indiana. A pretty good rivalry over the years. The Hoosiers, the Buckeyes. A battle in the Big Ten today on CBS. Car's all yours. Thanks. Cars.com's expert reviews made it easy, but... Shouldn't there be more back and forth? You missed the drama, right? Yeah. Maybe this will do the trick. Oh, it's a puppy. Not a puppy, a wolf. What now? He's a wolf. And that is its incredibly protective mother. Down. You guys good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're good. Yep. Okay. Get the right car without all the drama. Cars.com. All drive, no drama. When it comes to the financial obstacles military families face, we understand. Our financial advice is geared specifically to current and former military members and their families. <laughs> Dad! Life brings obstacles. USAA brings retirement advice. Call or visit us online. We're ready to help. Learn more with our free USAA Retirement Guide. Call 877-242-USAA. What's better, faster or slower? Faster! Yeah, what's fast? Um, my mom's car and a cheetah. Okay. A spaceship. Spaceship. And what's slow? My grandma's slow. Would you like her better if she was fast? I bet she would like it if she was fast. Hmm. Maybe give her some turbo boosters. Tape a cheater to her back? Tape a cheater to her back. Okay. Seems like you've thought about this before. It's not complicated. Faster is better. An iPhone 5 downloads fastest on AT&T 4G. Since footlongs are the limousines of hot dogs, yes. we're celebrating Sonic's four new footlongs limo style. Okay, that's cool. I understand that they're really awesome and worth celebrating, but I wish we were in a limo. We're just sitting in the back of my car with a limo driver in the front. Oh, he's not a limo driver. Well, who is he? I don't know. I thought you knew him. No, I don't know him. Cool. Mystery. <gasps> Get any of the new footlong quarter pound hot dogs with tots for just $3.99. And try the new sweetheart shake. This is how you Sonic. FedEx Cup champion Brent Snedeker leads the field going into the final round at the AT&T Pebble Beach National Pro-Am next on CBS. Hoosiers by five. What pair in college basketball? Clark, five teams, number one the past month, all five beaten. A shuffling of the deck almost on a weekly basis. Indiana, Duke, Louisville had it for a moment. Back to Duke. Kansas got there, Michigan. And now, Indiana. And you know what? If Indiana were to win this game today, we got a long way to go, obviously. Great start for the Hoosiers. I would still, if I had a vote, vote them number one. Losing on the road 
is something that happens to every elite team in the country, especially in a tough conference, and you shouldn't be penalized, and you should get more points for winning on the road. If you were to beat a ranked team on the road, even though you lost early in the week, I would still put Indiana number one if that happens. Well, think of the road games Indiana has left. They got to go two minutes against. Oh, my goodness. And now the other way home. Grayson Smith will defend. Nice transition right there. And that's a big turnaround there because Thompson was all alone above the rim and just didn't squeeze the orange. And it's a turnaround of four points. And it takes away the injection of excitement that dunk would have gotten into this building. A very scrappy Will Sheehy has come in for the Hoosiers. Smith outside, Kraft with a triple. Oladipo in there digging away. Ravenel comes up with it. Ravenel taking the place of Amir Williams, who has a couple fouls early for the Bucks. Moments ago. Well executed out of bounds play, and Sam Thompson just lost the ball. He just lost control of it as he was about to punch it home. Slipped out of his hands because that was two points plus an injection of adrenaline that didn't happen. Ruby Farrell has the ball right around Kraft and Oladipo. One thing Indiana has done so well here quite early is survive the emotional storm of this sold-out crowd over the Bowen side. Exactly. There was a lot of emotion. There man. was, and I think sometimes, Kevin, you're better served in this kind of game to be on the road because it's hard to idle down that emotion as the home team. Hoosiers by seven to real-time scores. Plus access to live video and game highlights with the CBS Sportcaster app for iPhone and Android. Jack scored a 42777 to get the free app. 1358 to play. We are in the first half. Number 10 against number one. Clark just said that this Hoosier team, which is 1-5 of 6, 11 of 13, should they win on the road today here in Columbus, probably in his mind, still stay number one. If I, if I had a vote, that would be the case, Kevin. I would vote. I don't think you automatically move a team in the rankings just because it loses a game on the road. It's who they played, how did they lose, and then what did they do the rest of the week? Mm -hmm. I mean, you end up with a road win here today if you're Indiana. I mean, that speaks volumes against a really good team in Ohio State. Sophomore Remy Abel has checked in for the Hoosiers, taking the place of the freshman starting point guard, Phil. Zola Dupa with it, Holes is the senior. She has it right now. Zola down low, and on the wing, they got Abel. He's got it here. He's picked up by newly instated with Clinton Ross for the Bucks. Look at the spacing of Indiana's offense, and Zeller very good at running the high stick, pick and roll with Oladipo. Good pressure defensively by the Buckeyes. Shot clock at six. Abel off the bench. Doubled. Oladipo doubled. Great, great defense by the Buckeyes. Recovering ball pressure. They need a bucket to finish it off. Thomas for three for Thomas comes up with his first three and just the other way, racing the Hoosiers and out of bounds. Kevin, you will not see a better example of defense leading to offense than what you just saw from the Buckeyes. Defending the pick and roll, rotating effectively, ball pressure, and then a run out for a wide open three. Derek Elston has jumped in for the Hoosiers. Come off the bench, holds a three. Number four in college basketball, and the guy just off the bench, the senior Elston comes up with the board. With a shove and a foul, Ravenel will pick up the personal for the Buckeyes. Talking about defense against the pick and roll and good ball movement and spacing, everybody in sync, rotation, bodying up, not fouling, forcing a tough shot, and then in transition with the floor spread, the Sean Thomas pays it off. Ohio State has brought in Shannon Scott. Scott Thomas and Kraft. Ross. Scott out of here. Ravenel patrolling the middle. Trying to defend Sheehy. What a dive and picked up by Kraft. That's one Sheehy has to finish. He a beautiful move all alone on the layup and missed it. Kraft goes down into the rock. Aaron Kraft with four. Buckeyes on a 6 nothing run. Ohio State doing a little switching out here on the perimeter at that time. Kevin Scott and the Clinton Ross. I think both teams switch with these defensively. They do. Right? They do. Interchangeable parts. Good athletes on the perimeter. Makes sense. 
With the shot clock at eight. Holds outside the Tyler Ross defending. Ravenel comes up with another rebound. Here's third. Ross. Right into holds. And out of bounds. We have a timeout on the floor. Aaron Kraft, the reigning Big Ten Defensive Player of the Year, but with some offense right here. Working in a thicket of Hoosiers, finds the deuce and bringing the Buckeyes close. Driving would be so much easier if trouble would just tell you it was there. But it doesn't. So we put advanced safety features like a rear view camera with available rear cross traffic alert and side blind zone alert into the new Buick Enclave. Just one more way, the new Enclave is smart made beautiful. Cantina Steak Burrito. Thick cut marinated steak swaddled in a warm flour tortilla. It's the big daddy of all burritos. Baby, baby. Visit CBSSports.com shop for all your officially licensed college basketball merchandise. Remember, the best in college basketball gear is at CBSSports.com shop. Back in Columbus, it's music's biggest night, the Grammy Awards, with your favorite superstars performing live. Don't miss the show everyone will be talking about. It's tonight, 8 Eastern, 7 Central, right here on CBS. Well, Aaron Kraft, now in his junior year, Finley, Ohio, from Liberty Benton High School, a two-time All-State quarterback, and he's carried that great success to the basketball floor. He has a sister who plays freshman basketball here on the campus of Ohio State. That's exactly right, Caitlin, part of the Buckeye Lady Squad, and Aaron Kraft already with four rebounds, Kevin, to go with those four points. And we talk about his football background. He also played soccer as a youngster, so he's got the tenacity and physicality of a footballer and the quickness of foot of a soccer player when he serves smart. it well exactly He's academic a, uh, capital one academic all district and a shot outside by Deshaun Thomas nice little surge here by Ohio State nine nothing exactly and it's been fueled by the defense Kevin when Scott and Kraft are on the floor together they can really heat up the opposing ball handlers they can switch everything they both are quick and strong she missing the triple Kraft digs it out, 9-0 run for Ohio State. Indiana starts so hard, rush of the three. Watford gets the ball. Indiana started 5 of 8, 0 oh of 6. And now they're 7. Holmes is not hit from outside on that shot. Up but and down we go, Kevin. Scott into Holmes, driving inside. Easy call, great job Kevin. by Jordan Holmes to retreat and get in legal guarding position. Scott needed another dribble there, Kevin, to make his decision. He decided too soon to launch and made it easy for Jordan Halls to step in. When you're the offensive player in transition with the ball, you should be in control. You shouldn't allow a defender to step in and take a charge. Keep your dribble alive, keep your head up, go around that guy. You just can't launch prematurely because you take the, you, you take the defender off the hook that way. Cody Zellers checked back in for Dylan Austin. 
and the enemy needs to think about trying to get the ball inside. They've had some good looks at the three-point shot. Have not converted lately, so they need to go inside the zone. Trey McDonald has come in the middle. We told you about the foul problems with the starting center, Williams. Couple there, Ravenel taking a breather. Watford with a very difficult three right there, but his three-point shooting is absolutely terrific. Third in the Big Ten Conference. Yeah, he's at 50% in conference games. We talked about how he's been in double digits his last 13, so consistent and really tough to bother his shot as we get an offensive foul. Called on Deshaun Thomas. Christian Wofford, here's Deshaun Thomas. He's there, but he's not in his airspace. That's not close enough for a 50% three-point shooter. If you can't deny the catch, then you've really got to crowd him and run him off the line. McDonald picked up a foul moments ago for Ohio State, continues to man the middle, and here comes the effervescent Odifo. Always on the move. Missing outside there, Remy Abel. I think both of these teams enjoy the pace the game is being played at. Touch it comes, and Ross makes it go. He emerged the other night in Ann Arbor, and they've been waiting for him to make that move and take the next step. Well, he's got the talent, Kevin. There's no doubt about it. You know, last year he was not cleared academically until after the season started. We take a look. Remy Abel good, giving a good effort, but clearly not there in legal guarding position. And nice concentration by LaQuentin Ross. But he's talented and really had a nice outing. Actually, a career high in Big Ten games is what he scored those 16 points against Michigan the other night. And the five rebounds. In fact, he and Williams both we took that nice step up, which Mata was looking forward to see. Abel had picked up the foul on the other end for Indiana. Under 10 to play in the first half. And a turnover there. Abel will check out and coming in Jeremy Hollowell, the freshman from Indianapolis. For the bombs on that last play. Excuse me, partner. The defensive pressure on the perimeter of Ohio State paying dividends here after that quick start that Indiana had in the first four minutes. Over once for Zeller comes up with another rebound. He's collected three. Zeller driving in right there for the basket now with four. And Holloway. Kim Ross coming up right now. They call him Q here at Value City Arena, and he's showing them his full arsenal here in the early going. And that went in for Oladipo. From Dametha High School in Hinesville, Maryland. Just this year has really began uh, his move toward national prominence. No question about it. And again, defensively, he's always been terrific. It's his offensive development. Deshaun Thomas on the move from Fort Wayne, Indiana. Basket no good. Hollowell picks up the foul. We take a break in a thriller in Columbus. McDonald's dollar menu just keeps getting better. Introducing the all-new mouth-watering grilled onion cheddar burger, topped with melty white cheddar and caramelized onions. Plus all your tasty favorites for just a dollar each. Every day, as always, there's a lot to love for a little on McDonald's dollar menu. Follow the GPS. I'll just ask this guy. Excuse me, sir. Do you know where Christine is? The Infinity G sedan. 
because luxury should inspire confidence. It's not from around here. No matter what road you take. Right now, you can lease an Infiniti G sedan for only $299 a month for 24 months. Yeah. Infiniti. Inspired performance. You looking for a little mojo? Let's get lucky. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Super Bowl 47. <laughs> Bud Light for fans who do whatever it takes. Here we go. Like the score, the numbers statistically about the same. You can see Watford with five. Hulls already has five, two. Thomas leading all scores with six. And we know that Indiana likes to play with, to play with pace and some speed. We've seen that all season long. But the Buckeyes matching him. And I don't sense that necessarily they've done a lot of that in the past, but they're doing it this afternoon. They haven't, but they're better when they do. Hmm. When they can defend, rebound, get out in transition. I think the Ohio State team flows much better offensively when they can play in the open court. You know, an interesting thing as we looked at that summary, 10 of the 21 field goal attempts by Indiana three-pointers. Right. Their basic mixed diet is a third of their shots coming from the three-point line. That's a little overweighted at this juncture. They need to balance that out with more two-pointers and inside shots. Deshaun Thomas is at the free throw line, a former Mr. Basketball in high school in Indiana. Tomorrow on CBS, the 5-0 team investigates an underground fight club where only one fighter comes out alive. Hard-hitting new Hawaii 5-0. That's tomorrow only on CBS. Fighting for the loose ball right there. Ravenel can't reel it in. Excellent effort here by the fifth-year senior, Evan Ravenel. He actually got away with the stumble. A little bit of contact, but the right call. 20 and 3 Indiana, 17 and 5 Ohio State. Buckeyes number 10, Indiana number 1. You heard Clark on our broadcast earlier today say that if Indiana should win this game, he thinks they should stay number 1. After losing by 2 in Champaign this week, Watford gets his own miss and shuts it back in. We call that bagging your own groceries. <laughs> you scan. Go get your own. I like that. Scott and Ross. Smith, Ravenel, and Thomas for Buckeye 5. Approaching 7 to play in the first half. Ravenel a screen open the door for Ross who had the shot. And here comes Oladipo with Zeller and Hulls and Watford along with Holloway. Oladipo hammers one in again. He's got 6. That leads Indiana. I love the way he pushes with the dribble because you have to respect his driving ability. And when you're a defender, you're on your heels trying to protect the drive. That pull-up jump shot is available for him every time. Thomas. It's a force. Yeah. Oh, he, oh, he puts a lot of stress on the defense. Yeah, he does. Here he is again. Yep. And changes directions. I think you mentioned that earlier. At full speed, changes directions with ease. He's a handful in the open court. But look at the control, the balance, the follow-through. All of that is textbook. And then he comes right at you, getting into the lane and drawing a foul. Scott picks up his second for Ohio State. There goes Christian Watford. In comes Will Sheehy for Indiana. Six and a half and a half. Craft on the wing, and he's going to watch Oladipo. They love One that. great defender after another. Yeah, and they love to get Oladipo in the middle of the floor, Kevin, and have him go one-on-one. -on -one. That's a pretty strong interior move by number 40. Aggressive. Very aggressive, Kevin, and assertive. 
And again, you don't want to double team him because you've got shooters around him. That allows him to go one on one. Kraft with a screen. And Smith passes in. Indiana has led by as many as seven. Buckeyes have led by as many as two. Zeller with the fan. Here comes Kraft. Sam Thompson. Hulls took it. Nice play by Hulls. Thompson picks up his first. Cody Zeller going off the dribble. One on one. Beautiful use of the board. Excellent work. And then Lindsay Smith Jr. with the left hand floater. Got to have that in your bag, Kevin, when you're a guard. You've got to be able to pull up in that middle of the lane area and shoot the little floater. It seems the Buckeyes were a little bit inconsistent to begin the season, but the consistency now has come to their game. You read it the same way? I exactly read it the same way, Kevin, and that's what's going to determine how good this Ohio State team can become. And typically, whether it was at Butler or at Xavier or even here at Ohio State, Thad Mata's teams typically get better right. in February and March, play their best basketball during that time because of player development, understanding what he wants from them, and the emergence of guys like Amir Williams in foul trouble here today, but LaQuentin Ross really going to be important for what the Buckeyes become the rest of the way. Kraft picked up his first personal. There is the first free throw attempted by the Hoosiers by Hollowell. 69% free throw shooter. So you see an identity developing virtually game by game with Ohio State. Well, it was already anchored in what they can do defensively on the perimeter, Kevin, with Aaron Kraft, Shannon Scott, Menzel Smith Jr., Sam Thompson. This is the part of the game where they need to grow is offensively, being able to execute, take it to the rim, get quality shots on a regular basis. If that continues to grow, this is definitely a team that could maybe win the Big Ten title. Smith has five for the Buckeyes. Indiana, Hollowell the freshman, Zeller the sophomore, Halls the senior, another freshman, Yogi Ferrell, Kraft is on it. How about that? Offensive foul. All because of the pressure applied by Kraft. He's physical, his lateral quickness is as good as anybody's in the college game, and he never gives in or gives up. Didn't see much of a hook there from Yogi Ferrell, I have to admit. I thought that was perhaps a play on there. Two good guards going at it. Hollowell gone. Watford back out out there for the Hoosiers. How about being a starting point guard as a freshman for the number one team in the country? And he's a winner. Yogi Ferrell makes big plays. His decision making is solid. And he's improved as a shooter, Kevin. Here's Smith. The triple. Zeller diving. I think he got pushed there for Ravenel. Him. Yep, Ravenel was and getting Ravenel him from behind. Ravenel picks up his second points. personal foul. Williams had two early fouls for the Buckeyes to the start the game. And they go back now to the bench. And the third center is Trey McDonald, a sophomore from Battle Creek, with his second appearance in the game. And Zeller is at the line. Another former Mr. Basketball in Indiana. Of course, most of you know about his brothers, Luke at Notre Dame. Tyler, North Carolina. Pretty good family and pretty good schools, huh? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes to both. And Cody, as we mentioned, Aaron Kraft, a Capital One All Academic candidate, well, recipient, and so too is Cody Zeller for this semester. Academic All District. They call it. Back in comes Dara Delston, senior from Tipton. Zeller will take a breather. I think it'll be a short one, Kevin, perhaps mm -hmm. around the under four minute media timeout because with the third center on the floor for Ohio State and Trey McDonald, I would think Indiana would like to try to exploit that with Zeller. Smith in front on the doorstep. Halls gets it. Indiana with back-to-back -back road games at Illinois. We told you losing by two. In Columbus today, Watford with a rainbow. Beautiful outside shot. Six-point Hoosier lead. That was one of the fears that Thad Mata had, the trailing three of Christian Watford. He comes down late, and when he's behind that three-point line, he's lethal. Foul on Farrell, his second. This game typifies the gritty, exhilarating Big Ten Conference.
Eastern Conference of great coaches, Crean and Mata today, the Buckeyes and Hoosiers. The distances aren't getting shorter. The trucks are going farther. The 2013 Ram 1500 with best-in-class fuel economy. Engineered to move heaven and earth. Guts, glory, Ram. The new Ram 1500. Motor Trend's 2013 Truck of the Year. Whether it's mom's smartphone, dad's tablet, Lauren's smartphone, or Kevin's smartphone, AT&T MobileShare makes it affordable for the whole family to share data on all their devices. And when you connect a tablet, you save $100. AT&T. Rethink possible. Yes! yes! That just happened! Yes, it did. <laughs> no! No! Uh, yes, 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 yes! 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 See you, bud. Later. Honey, who was that? Who, that guy? I don't know. Get caught up in the excitement. Buffalo Wild Wings. More wings, more beer, more sports. Hey, who's this? You're watching NCAA Basketball on CBS. CBS tomorrow. Ted's new girlfriend is all kinds of crazy. I think we can handle Jeanette. How I Met Your Mother. Then, choosing a baby name is tricky. I am going to need a list of every girl you've ever been with. Well, I'm sure that's on file at the Center for Disease Control. New rules of engagement after a new How I Met Your Mother tomorrow. Back here in Columbus, the IU Hoosiers lead by six, and we're going to show you why Watford has been able to get a couple of threes. That's Jordy Hall, and there he is right here. He's going to step right into here, pass right there, and we've got a three-pointer, a trailing three-pointer. Trailing three-pointer for Christian Watford. It's one of the ways that he gets a couple of looks at that three-point shot every game, and he's off to a terrific start, Kevin. Four of six, and he's made a pair of triples. Indiana right now shooting 44%, Ohio State's 39. Indiana in points off turnovers, 7-0 over the Buckeyes. That was the exact thing that Tom Crean told us about an hour and a half ago that he was concerned about with his team against Ohio State. That's exactly right, taking care of it because this, this Indiana team is very efficient offensively, one of the most efficient in the country. And when they handle the ball, they typically get good shots. Indiana has lost six of their last seven here, four straight. And those four consecutive losses have all been decided by 17 or more. The boys tough when you're number one. Out of the shoot is Indiana was to begin the season. That target never leaves your back. And you know, it was interesting. Tom Crane talked about how this team, after last year's success, is now trying to figure out how to go from being good to being dominant and expected to win. Holy boy, trying to pierce the paint with a foul inside that's going to go on the Bucks. it goes on Kraft he picks up number two and coming up on the AT&T at the really half Tim Brando Doug Gottlieb and Seth Davis will get you caught up on the scores news and highlights of a very busy weekend in college basketball Doug and Seth in fact will have another spirited court of opinion it's a great discussion as always, as well as an update from the AT&T Pebble Beach National Pro-Am coming up on the AT&T at the half as Elston will depart and Zeller is back out there for the Hoosiers, the seven-foot sophomore from Washington, Indiana. Oladipo at the line. His numbers statistically have been terrific, and you look at Kraft now sitting with a couple of fouls in his six points. Foul trouble mounting a bit for the Buckeyes. Ravenel and Williams both with a pair, Kraft with two as well. Oh, they're going up high as Thompson tried to climb the ladder. They got Shannon Scott in the backcourt with Smith and Thomas. Still in the middle is Trey McDonald, the third of the three Ohio State centers. Got three to play in the first half. Zeller defending Thomas. Good move. 
Holmes, and they've got numbers. Oladipo, Zeller fumbles it away, picked up by Scott, down court. Thomas a long three. They get it to two, it's a long two, he's got nine. And she the other way. Watford. Inside Zeller <laughs> caught it in stride. That's a terrific play. You made note of the catch, Kevin. That was a low pass for a 6'11 guy. He got down there and got it and then had the presence of mind to avoid contact and finish with the left hand. That's why he's a player of the year candidate. There's a foul. Watford will pick it up on the perimeter for the Hoosiers. His first. This is a big time play, folks. Set the screen. He actually slips it. Does bump Lenzel Smith. And then the good catch. Excellent pocket pass as well by Victor Oladipo. And then a beautiful job by Zeller to avoid contact and finish nicely with the left hand. Sean Thomas has already been named the Big Ten Player of the Week twice this season. He's on that mid-season watch list. Twelve names now on the Oscar Robertson Trophy. Voted on by the U.S. College Basketball Writers Association. Also on there, Oladipo and Cody Zeller and nine others. Having a fantastic year. He's grown in areas other than scoring. He's been a fantastic scorer since he stepped on campus. But he's become a better rebounder, a better passer, a better defender. And clearly, one of the guys in the conversation for player of the year. Oladipo. Oh, what a pass by Holmes. And Oladipo hangs in with the circus move. Terrific pass by Jordan Holmes. And a nice adjustment on the catch by Victor Oladipo. Scott, here's Thomas with a three. Zeller is there to grab it. Now we have a minute and a half to play in the half from Columbus. Great pass. Thomas knocked it over. Here he comes! Oh. And there it goes! Oh my goodness. Oh, oh the deep <laughs> oh. That kid is a highlight film unto himself. Scott. Silky smooth shot by Sam Thompson, the sophomore from Chicago. Big response that time after Indiana taking some of the momentum out of this place. Seller, beautiful, beautiful shot. As he spins around, he's got 12. Indiana equals their biggest lead of eight. And we have a net issue, and they're going to straighten that out with 42.9 to play in the half. <laughs> There's Victor Oladipo, beautiful adjustment on the alley-oop, and then on the loose ball, right at you, folks. Here it comes, center court, high cam, punch it. I wonder where he gets this guy. He grew up in Washington, and he's got three sisters. When you got to outrun three sisters, man, that's going to happen. Time out taken. Let's now take a look at the Applebee's neighborhood favorite, Ohio State, Wisconsin, both number one when they met back in 2007. Melinda Tucker's basket with the middle left gave the Badgers a one-point lead. Mike Conley answers with four seconds left. Put the Buckeyes on top. The final attempt by Wisconsin blocked by Ron Lewis. The Buckeyes held on for their last win against the nation's top-ranked team. And here is Thad Mata's resume against top-ranked teams in college basketball. Not bad at all. Batting 500. And they've got an opportunity here, although Indiana playing at a really high level, Kevin. You know, I know Ohio State and Thad Mata have been looking for that edge, a, a player to give them a little bit of grit. We know that Indiana gets it from Sheehy. Ohio State has kind of developed it, maybe not with one guy, but maybe with a couple of guys to get that jump. Lindsay L. Smith Jr. is probably the guy. Obviously, Kraft is the one who's the catalyst and the leader in that regard. Lindsay L. Smith Jr., an excellent rebounder, defender, brings some of that same toughness. And then trying to find a really a third consistent scorer outside of Smith Jr. and Thomas for the Buckeyes has really been the dilemma for this Ohio State team. We've had a couple times. We've had four lead changes. Indiana's lead now eight, equal in their biggest. Buckeyes have led by two. Indiana has scored on their last five possessions. 
10 seconds difference, team clock and shot clock. Scott Thomas doubled hand in. He's in a torture chamber and he finds room and he gets it to go. That's in his own miss with 8.4 to play. Clutch basket by Deshaun Thomas with 13 points for the Buckeyes. How about that effort though? How about the extra effort? Nowhere to go. Shoehorns himself along the baseline and then bags his own groceries for that one. Don't just reject convention. Drown it out. Introducing the all new 2013 Lexus LS F Sport. An entirely new pursuit. A lot of turbulence in this conference. Five team race for the Big Ten Championship. You see the teams. Michigan State holding on as of today. Tom Izzo's club always in the conversation when you talk Big Ten titles. Indiana obviously right there as well in the loss column. And Michigan, Wisconsin, and Bo Ryan's club. What a win they had yesterday. Wow. Plenty of time for IU to get a good look. Oh, deep up, picked up by Smith. The last thing you want to yeah. do there. He picks up his first. The last thing you want to do there is commit a foul. You want to make the last shot be a challenge shot not free throws. Step back here just a second, Clark, and talking to Tom Crean, and because they're number one coming in, he said pace, rebounding, no easy baskets, and maybe most importantly, match the toughness of Kraft at Ohio State. Well, Kraft has been out the last couple of minutes with the foul, but this Indiana team, I think, has answered the bell in all of those categories, Kevin. Quite honestly, started strong with shot making and execution as you look at Aaron Kraft. Cody Zeller going to sit the last 4.5 seconds here. I would expect Indiana, if Oladipo makes this free throw, to maybe extend their defensive pressure here and force Ohio State to go the length of the court under pressure. And that's exactly what they do. Zone, little trap. Thomas, good if it goes. And the way we've been seeing those drop, you I never know. I held my breath. <laughs> I know. <laughs> The Big Ten is challenging as it's ever been. Number one, Indiana. Number 10, Ohio State. Now let's go to Tim Brando in our CBS studios in New York. Thanks. CBS Sports College basketball coverage is sponsored by State Farm for auto, home, life, and banking. Get to a better state. By Capital One, official banking credit card of the NCAA. What's in your wallet? And by AT&T, Rethink Possible. Number one, Indiana by eight at halftime. As we take a look at the Northwest Mutual first half stats, plus eight points in the paint for the Hoosiers. And you were just talking about the fact that uh, they've not taken as many long shots and they've been more accurate. Exactly. They've gone inside, taking advantage of Watford inside and outside, but Zeller and obviously Victor Oladipo. Victor Oladipo will make you want to holler and throw up both of your hands if you got to deal with him. Look at that catch and finish. And then this one, I almost lost my voice. Deshaun almost. Thomas has been the guy making it happen for the Buckeyes. Love that left side of the floor. When he catches it in rhythm, doesn't take much time or need much space. He's got 13. But in order for the Buckeyes to get back, Kevin, they've got to be more disruptive defensively so that the ball can't get inside as easily as it did and they've got to be maybe they've got to be willing to maybe change their strategy against Zeller. they might need to scramble and try to double team him a little bit i always hate to say a game and this date is a big game but is it a must win here no i don't think so for either team no no exactly i don't think so i mean it's important because it's ohio state at home it's even more important because indiana is on the road and i think road wins are worth about a win and a half against a high quality opponent. Thomas Good. comes in for another two. Buckeyes led earlier by two. Watford, Oladipo, Hull, Zeller trying to set a 
halfway inside. He was held by Williams, who was caught inside, and Williams has picked up his third. He's played limited minutes yeah. because of foul problems this afternoon. Yeah, it's been a tough day for Amir Williams. That's a tough call, but it was a foul. This is the most intentional that I've seen Indiana in a half looking to Zeller and Zeller being aggressive and trying to get the ball inside. Ronzo trying to get by Ravenna, who's come in in place of the foul prone Amir Williams. Farrell picked up by Kraft, good screen, switch right there on D. Zeller, Watford. That's good basketball by Indiana, though. High low involving Zeller and Watford. Now the Buckeyes have to convert on that missed good look. Sean Thomas has been red hot as eight of Ohio State's last ten points. This is where Ohio State really has to be patient in executing. That's too long of a pass to make with the defense set. Great timing by Oladipo. Yeah. We've got another steal. Good anticipation as well, Kevin. But when you're trying to make that long a pass, you're really giving the defense an out. Thomas will pick one up right there, trying to lean over the back of Watford inside. Deshaun Thomas picks up his first personal. He is the leading scorer, if you're just joining us, in the Big Ten Conference. 19.9 a game. And his versatile and offensive player, as you'll find in college basketball. Oh, I agree with that. He's a terrific scorer in a lot of ways. Offensive rebounds, three-point shooting, in the post. Zeller. Ravenel will pick up a foul. Zeller and his determination to get inside has made a difference. Ravenel picks up number three. And I love what Indiana's doing here, Kevin. They're playing smash-mouth basketball. They know the Buckeyes are in trouble in terms of foul difficulty. This team averages 26 free throw attempts per game in conference play. They took just, seven in the first half. They just changed the foul. They put it on Kraft, who picks up his third, and not Ravenel. And Zeller at the line. Five double-doubles in Big Ten play so far for Cody Zeller. Playing every bit the preseason college player of the year that he was voted to be before he began things. It's a two-way street, Kevin. His teammates are really looking to get in the ball, but I think he's been more aggressive and assertive and hunting for good post position and looking for his shot. Ravenel, Zeller defense. Watford. We thought the foul was on Ravenel, but there you see the reach in by Aaron Kraft, and that's his third, but Thad Mata has no choice but to leave Aaron Kraft on the floor. Wow, slithering inside, Farrell. Kraft is on him right here, playing with three. Oladipo now picked up by Renzel Smith, Jr. And Oladipo's going to make him work. <laughs> he has a non-stop motor. Watford with a corkscrew move. Smith. Thomas. Thompson. Well, that's one Thompson has to be ready to pull the trigger on, Kevin. He went in, he had, a, he had an open mid-range jump shot and tried to get it to the rim and ended up forcing one. But I think Ohio State has to play more in transition. Going against Indiana's set half-court defense is going to be difficult. So they've got to be disruptive defensively and then try to get out in the open court to get some quick hitting opportunities. Plenty of time on the shot clock here. It's Kraft. And Smith will have it on the perimeter. Shot clock is down to six, and this is Sam Thompson over Farrell. Ravenel with a big offensive rebound. Nice move by Smith to get inside and draw the foul out of the Hoosier defense. <laughs> and the fans may be an over-exuberant yell right there and applause. Well, this on the heels of an offensive rebound. Good job by Lenzel Smith to go off the dribble and then get bumped on the penetration. Good attack here, though, by number 32. 
I think they got that foul. Was it on Watford? Watford yeah, is from picked behind. Up his second. The Buckeyes, as we mentioned before, coming off a two-point loss in overtime in Ann Arbor to Michigan earlier. They have played Clark, and this is a staggering number. They have played 121 consecutive games without back-to-back -back losses. The longest current streak in college basketball. Yeah, that's impressive. Smith. He's got six. He averages ten. Watford looking inside. Zeller had the lean back, and he watches it whistle over his head and out of reach and out of play with a turnover right there for Indiana. Just their fifth of the game. And that was one of the keys Tom, Tom Green talked to us about. When we take care of it, we usually are efficient offensively, and they've done a nice job so far in this game. Thomas. And he had to contour it about every which way you could think as Farrell picked up his third. So the two point guards, Kraft and Farrell, each with three fouls apiece. This is Thomas doing a nice job getting it up into him, and then he just got a nick on the elbow by Farrell, and that's enough to throw off a shot in warrant the foul call one thing you notice about these two lineups and they're both deep and both very talented but there is a lot of offensive balance for the most part you get by the headline guys for each team but everybody gets a hand in the scoring everybody touches the ball yeah they do they share it well both teams indiana has more averaging double figures with four players averaging double digits only two for ohio state average double digits as you see will Sheehy come into the game for yogi farrell for indiana Three shots by Thomas here because he was popping up a triple in front of his own bench. And nails that again. Well, it was an eight-point game at halftime. It's down to four with almost four gone. Zeller and Ravenel. Oladipo picked up by Thompson. And he's still got it to go. And Thompson's got a little size on him. Well, that was a great play by Oladipo because he came to meet that pass. Thomas was in good position, but Oladipo ran through the pass and was able to convert after he caught it. Zeller comes out to meet Ravenel and grabs the rebound for Indiana. He's collected seven rebounds this afternoon. Sheehy. Oladipo, Watford, and that shot clock does not go down very deep, and Oladipo knocks in another 19 points, another triple for him. And just like that, the big lead acquired again by Indiana of nine. Kraft coughs it up. It has been Victor Oladipo all day long making music, running through the pass, nice little floater, and then off the dribble. Pull up, watch it go down. Victor Oladipo leading the Hoosiers to the nine point cushion. The boys use Capital One Venture Miles for their annual football trip. That's double miles you can actually use. Tragically, their buddy got sacked by blackouts. But it's our tradition. That's roughing the card holder. But with the Capital One Venture card, you get double miles you can actually use. Ready, right? Anytime. Scoreboard doesn't lie. What's in your wallet? Huh. I have me on my fantasy team. The exclusive air suspension in the 2013 Ram 1500. Engineered to move heaven and earth. Guts, glory, Ram. The new Ram 1500. Motor Trend's 2013 Truck of the Year.
At Cheez-It, we expect a lot from all our cheeses. Hey, Joe, who am I? I'm BB Swiss. Wah! <laughs> do you get it? I do get it. Um, <laughs> Is it hot in here? And now you're hot and spicy. What about now? <laughs> I suppose that's... I'm you! <laughs> See the hair? It's perfect. We take the time for our cheeses to mature before we bake them into every delicious cracker. Because at Cheese It, real cheese matters. On the new season of Survivor, we're bringing back some of the most controversial castaways ever. It's fans versus favorites. Premiering Wednesday, only CBS. Hold your horses now. Hoosier Jr. Victor Oladipo, he has the last 11 points of the 15 scored by the Hoosiers. He has made his last six consecutive shots. Perhaps the most improved player in college basketball. Some think the MVP of this twice-ranked number one team in college basketball. Well, he's been fantastic from day one of this season. Not only his presence and impact defensively, and he is dynamic there, a defensive player of the year candidate for sure in the country. But offensively, he's continued to add to his game. So if you put Oladipo and the big man in the middle, Cody Zeller, together, they have the last 19 points by the Hoosiers. Indiana doing a nice job of playing through its best players. Watford has been terrific as well. As a matter of fact, on that last jumper by Oladipo, it was the screen by Watford that got him open. Zeller set a screen right there for Sheehy. And here comes Kraft playing with three fouls. Smith has it. Thomas out there, Ravenel inside, LeClinton Ross is on the wing. That's the five for the Bucks. Ohio State, 39% shooting Kraft. Nice bounce. He's got eight. And a lot of rebounds. Sheehy, Watford, Zeller, Holmes, Oladipo. Sheehy, a triple. Good! Knocking it down, Will Sheehy from Stewart, Florida. He is number one in the Big Ten and scored off the bench. Showed it right there. Ravenel digging it out, as is Hulls, picked up by Smith, Ross, cards, picked up by Oladipo, and the Hoosiers are running. To Seller, Oladipo gets the assist, Seller with 16, Oladipo has 19. Kevin, it's a clinic right now mm. in terms of how to play with the lead on the road. Stay aggressive, but understand what you're trying to get. High quality shots every trip. Look inside, throw them inside. If you have an open jumper, shoot it. But continue to put pressure on Ohio State's defense by probing inside first. This is Indiana's biggest lead of the game. Shot clock at nine for Ross. Ravenel. Picked up by Sheehy. That is a foul. It's going to be on holes of the Indiana Hoosiers. Holes picks up number one. Nice drive here by Aaron Kraft. Holes almost was there, but just moved at the last second. And Kraft going to get himself to the foul line. That would have been a big one because Kraft is on the floor with three personal fouls. So here's Kraft at the free throw line. He's improved his free throw shooting tremendously this season. How much do you really know about your financial reputation? An investigation into credit ratings. Plus, three Americans who survived a deadly Al-Qaeda attack in Algeria tell their story for the first time on 60 Minutes Tonight on CBS. Kraft. 81% shooter from the line. Last year, 71%. Now 82, not bad, nice improvement. Excellent improvement. The fact that Kraft has the three fouls really renders him not nearly as aggressive as he would like to be. And that's a problem facing a team that's so efficient offensively in Indiana. The only way Ohio State has a chance to get back in this one, in my opinion, is to disrupt this team with its defense. 
We're diving. Shot clock is at seven. Hose. Oladipo bouncing off Ravino. Back to Hose. Three, two, the three. Short. Watford picks it up. Did not hit the rim. Shot clock violation. That's a step in the right direction in terms of defense. Ohio State is the number one defensive team in the Big Ten. That's uh, orchestrated by Coach Thad Mata. But Indiana comes in number two in scoring That's in right. all of college basketball. And right now the scoring team is having its way, <laughs> in part because the defense isn't creating open court opportunities for Ohio State. That was great defense, but now they've got to come and play in the half court, and that is not necessarily the strength of Ohio State's team offensively. Ivan tried by Thomas, Zeller was right there, and the foul goes on the Hoosiers with 12.09 to play. A look at Tom Crean, who a week ago today was on the floor of the Superdome in New Orleans, cheering on his brothers-in-law. He is married to the sister of both Jim and John Harbaugh. He said, I, I saw Bill Parcells, I saw Pat Riley, and I always like to pick the brains of the smartest guys in their respective sports. He's always been that way. That's part of the reason he's such an ex excellent coach, is he's, a, he's, a, he's an ever-growing learner. He said he took six pages of oh, yeah, notes. Oh, yeah, I can imagine. Talked talk to CEOs and everybody else. Hey, I've talked to him before, and I have never coached basketball. I know a little bit about it, and he's written down <laughs> stuff that I've said. I mean, he really Today. is a sponge for information and wants to continue to find ways to give his team the edge to grow as a coach, and that's quite admirable, and that's part of the reason. Um, he's had the success that he's had as a head coach. And smart. Anytime he's quoting you, it is smart <laughs> stuff. You overstate things a bit there, partner. Single-digit deficit now for Ohio State. Can the defense rise up and create some opportunities in the open court? It's Sheehy. He's hit two in a row. That one from about 16 feet away, and Sheehy now has... Off the bench, come up with five points for Indiana. They've won five of six and 11 of 13. Buckeyes have won four of five and six of eight. Thomas. She brings a lot of emotion to the floor for the Hoosiers. Ross is on him now. Hollowell, who just checked in, sets the screen. Three, and that's college basketball's fourth pass. The put back up and in. And who else sneaks up there and tosses it through in is Oladipo with 21. Kevin, that happens because you have to be so leery of the shooters. And the way Indiana spaces you, it really creates opportunities to get to the missed shot because everybody is so spread out. We are just beyond the halfway point of the Big Ten season. And who's your coach? Tom Crane has kept his team in the top ten all season long. Our coverage of NCAA men's basketball will continue after this message and a word from your local CBS station. job at Cosmopolitan. The job, CBS Friday. Here's an offer that's twice as nice. At iMart, get two pair of glasses for one low price, $89.92. At iMart, you can find your style for less. Keep two for you or even share a pair. Two pair of glasses for $89.92. And you can get them in about an hour. Only at iMart. Is it from your grandma? He's so cute and he's so small. I'm going to name him Mittens. And here's one from Brian. <laughs> It's high-speed internet. Now Mittens and I can watch kitty videos on our computer. Where's Mittens? Brian? Ew. Exceed. Internet so fast it must be from outer space. 
Make your truck or van better looking and more organized with a huge selection of accessories at Meyer Truck Equipment. From customized van shelving, seat covers, floor and cargo mats, to toolboxes, mud guards, running boards, bed covers, ladder racks, lift gates, and spray-on bed liners. Meyer Truck has it. Protect your truck and enhance its good looks with accessories from Meyer Truck Equipment. Highway 56 just north of Jasper and Morgan Avenue, Evansville. We make your truck work for you. Here's an offer that's twice as nice. At iMart, get two pair of glasses for one low price, $89.92. At iMart, you can find your style for less. Keep two for you or even share a pair. Two pair of glasses for $89.92. And you can get them in about an hour. Only at iMart. Dr. Phil, weekdays at 3 on CBS 44. Well, Indiana's last win here in Columbus came back in 2008 when Calvin Sampson was still the head coach of the Hoosiers and D.J. White finished with 21 points and 18 rebounds. Freshman Eric Gordon added 15 points. Indiana pulled off the 59-53 win, but they've lost the last four games here since then, and Tom Crean has let them in. But, you know, Tom Crean took over a program that was staggering a little bit. 1-17 in, in his first Big Ten season. He had eight walk-ons, replacing Calvin Sampson. He inherited players leaving, some academic issues. There were NCAA violations. But the state of Indiana embraces basketball. And in true IU tradition, they've come back. And uh, certainly last year with the high school All-America, the freshman Cody Zeller going 27-9, reaching the Sweet 16. Number one, like we said, a good part of this season. And number one here this afternoon. Playing beautiful, beautiful basketball thus far. Execution, shot making, everybody in sync, solid defensively. There's a foul on Hollowell as he drapes Amir Williams inside. That is the second on him. This, by the way, is the largest deficit Ohio State has faced at home this season. Previous high was down 12 points to the Kansas Jayhawks, who eventually beat him that night in Columbus. And Ohio State is not built to come back quickly. They don't have as many proven and consistent scoring options as do the Hoosiers. You see the foul situation there, which could bode well for Ohio State if they could get into the bonus. Ross with a floater. Zeller is checked back in for the Hoosiers. Hollowell will take a breather. And there is a quick foul right off the inbound, and it goes on Shannon Scott. Well, I like the idea of Scott looking the pressure mm -hmm. in the backcourt, and Thad Mata obviously likes it as well because he understands if his team is going to have a chance to get back in it, that's the way it's going to have to happen. Defensive pressure disrupting and rattling the rhythm of IU, and you see LaQuentin Ross and Will Sheehy getting to know each other a little bit. <laughs> You recall Ohio State began the Big Ten three and two, and they kind of had to reboot, and then they won four straight. Yep. They lost to Michigan, and here they are this afternoon. It's so good to have excellent ball handlers on the floor, and Halls and Farrell. Kraft going to try to disrupt Halls, and Sheehy can step out and relieve pressure. So too can the big guys. Zeller and Watford are pretty good off the dribble from 15 feet and in. We're halfway through the second half. It's selling. Beautiful move with the defender right in his grill. Again, you can't afford to double team because he is a willing passer with three-point shooters around him. I'm telling you, Kevin, I've watched Indiana a lot. I've not seen Zeller be as aggressive in getting the ball in the post and hunting the shot, nor have I seen this, seen this team throw it to him as well and as often as they have today. Thomas trying to twirl inside. Zeller, by the way, with 18 points. Here comes Kevin Yogi Farrell. Watford will put up the triple. Wow. It's the biggest lead for number one ranked Indiana with under 10 to play. And a timeout taken by Ohio State. The Hoosiers playing well in Columbus today. The Levion family have been masters of jewelry design for centuries. This Levion collection is amazing. Maybe it's time to start your own. K Jewelers presents today's Levion collection, featuring exclusive Levion chocolate diamonds from the Levion family, where the latest in fashion meets fine jewelry. One more reason K is the number one jewelry store in America. It's a work uh, of art. Every kiss begins with K. 
Applebee's new entrees are full of flavor and under 550 calories each. You have to taste it to believe it. I believe it. I can dig it. Uh oh. Yep, they tasted it. Big flavor, big portion, starting at just $9.99. See you tomorrow. Weather conditions aren't nearly as nice as where we came from, but the wind chill is 10 below. But attendance for fair play. We have record loads out there, so bundle up and thank you for flying with us. Now with my Buick Remote Start, the new Buick Enclave makes sure you're ready for anything. Just one more way, the new Enclave is smart, made, beautiful. Which would you rather have, a big tree house or a small tree house? If it's big enough, you can have a disco. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> it's not complicated. Bigger is better. And AT&T has the nation's largest 4G network. One night. One stage, the biggest music event on the planet, the Grammys. Justin Timberlake returns to music with a world premiere performance. Maroon 5 and Alicia Keys, Rihanna, Bruno Mars, and Sting. Plus, fun, Adele, Beyonce, and look who's opening up the night, Taylor Swift. The Grammys Live, CBS Tonight. CBS Sports College basketball coverage is sponsored by Jack the Giant Slayer. In theaters everywhere, March 1st. By Concept Calvin Klein Underwear. And by the new Buick Enclave. It's smart, made beautiful. Indiana by 16, shooting 54%. Have a look at the AT&T Fast Analysis. It's on Victor Oladipo, a one-man carnival. I tell you what, Victor Oladipo is like a baby's bottom. Smooth and sometimes <laughs> explosive. <laughs> How about in the last 18 minutes for Oladipo and his fellow Hoosiers, they have shot 16 of 22 from the field, 73% for Indiana. And coming in, having won five of six, a 20 of three overall mark, eight and two in conference play with the win. They would tie Michigan State, but they beat the Spartans a couple weeks ago. So you do the math and you can figure it out where they stand. A lot of basketball left to be played as the teams at the top will continue to meet up and square off with one another. Ohio State's got to find a way to get baskets and stops. 22 for Thomas, and it's got to happen now. It's got to happen. This is the um, this is the yellow light zone <laughs> for the Buckeyes. And it's blinking. Yep. It's blinking. Under nine. They began camping outside the arena Wednesday. Tents, sleeping bags, pizza, cookies, and hot chocolate. Today, they're getting a great taste of the best conference, strongest conference in college basketball. So a nice move and too much time. Excellent defense. It was terrific defense by Indiana, by Ohio State. Wow. This is the biggest deficit the Buckeyes have faced here at Value City Arena. Can they find their way back? They've hung their head on defense the entire season. Craft into Zeller. Thomas cleans it up. 24 for him. Like the aggressiveness of the drive by Kraft, even though it wasn't a great shot. It forced the defense to collapse, and that allowed Thomas to get to that weak side board. Six rebounds for Thomas. Crowd to the play. You're right. They're trying to get things going. A turnover. Quentin Ross. Thomas wanting the timeout. Oladipo. Zeller. And Kraft. Great action both ways. Not quite over yet. Both teams. Landed on the line. Look at Aaron Cram stopping a sure bucket there. When it comes to the financial obstacles military families face, we understand. Our financial advice is geared specifically to current and former military members and their families. <laughs> Dad! 
Life brings obstacles. USAA brings retirement advice. Call or visit us online. We're ready to help. Learn more with our free USAA Retirement Guide. Call 877-242-USAA. Cantina Steak Burrito. Thick cut, marinated steak, swaddled in a warm flour tortilla. It's the big daddy of all burritos. Baby, baby. Seamless technology. Born from the elements. Destined to take them over. The Sirius XM satellite radio in the 2013 Ram 1500. Engineered to move heaven and earth. Guts, glory, Ram. The new Ram 1500. Motor Trends 2013 Truck of the Year. Oladipo with 21. He's leading the Indiana Hoosiers, who have outscored the Buckeyes by 10 in the paint and by 12 from beyond the arc. Those are the numbers right there, 55% shooting. And you just talked about the advantage in the three-point field goals made. There he is. I mentioned before, back at the first half, he played at famed Jamatha High School outside Washington and Hyatt's Bill Maryland. One of the top players in Washington, D.C. from Upper Marlboro, Maryland, Oladipo. Closing seven and a half to play here in the second half. Kevin, can Ohio State string together enough defensive stops and then score at the foul line and occasionally from the three-point line to get back in it? Zeller was fouled with a twist inside. Amir Williams picks up his fourth and Wednesday on the Premier of Survivor. Ten of your favorites are back for another chance, and they'll face off against ten super fans. It's fans against favorites. On the new season of Survivor, premiering Wednesday only on CBS, Cody Zeller at the free throw line. There's an interesting story in the Indy Star this week by Bob Kravitz about Tom Crean as a game coach. And uh, it, Indiana fans obviously upset with the loss, wondering what kind of game coach Kravitz said. I think he's terrific. What do you think? I think the same thing. I mean, they had a major breakdown on that last play at Illinois. It was just a lack of communication, and Griffey gets a layup at the buzzer. But I've seen Tom Crean work for a number of years as a head coach on the sidelines, and he doesn't leave any stone unturned. He has his team prepared and ready and manages the game quite well. And case in point here today, he talked to us about the game plan for his team. Getting the ball inside a little more, taking care of it. Defending well, tough shot by LaQuint Ross. Very tough, off the bench with nine. The other night he had 16 off the bench in Ann Arbor. Jared Elston is pulling in the middle, Watford. Elston with the screen, Oladipo picked up by the long Ross. Ross is one of the other guys for Ohio State that can go get his own shot in addition to Deshaun Thomas, so that's why he's on the floor. Indiana clearly comfortable maximizing the shot clock, and that's a good look for a great three-point shooter. What a stroke by Watford with a second triple in the half. Four of four from beyond the arc in the game for Watford. Boy, has he been right down the middle. Thomas. Elevation puts in his 26th. Now he could go on many runs himself 
can Deshaun Thomas, but it's about stops now. And when you've got as many options offensively as Indiana does, shooting and off the dribble, it's really tough. Shannon Scott with the steal right there. Ross again taking it hard inside. Kraft, Thomas, Watford is there defending. An errant three with Old Depot picking it up. A step back three against a taller defender. And as a result, it goes wide right. Cody Zeller will check in at the next dead ball. Five and a half to play. Mark Kellogg said earlier in the broadcast, if Indiana wins, he thinks they should stay number one. I do. I really believe that. If I had a vote, they would get it. I know there'll be some cases made for Duke. Watford. Miami is making progress as it continues to win. Old Eagle stepped out of bounds. Florida has been impressive as well. Victor Oladipo in the middle of things as he's been all day long. Almost came up with that ball too. Man. Zeller comes back in. And Oladipo is going to take a much needed breather with 5.13 to play. So Watford, Zeller, Sheehy along with Hulls and Farrell. Much needed might be an overstatement. I've never seen the guy tired. Much deserved is probably more appropriate for Oladipo. Zeller can't get it. Amir Williams does. Now, they have missed him today. He's obviously been handcuffed with his foul issues. He was an emerging player, is an emerging player for the Buckeyes. Without question, and Kevin, you've seen it. I've experienced that experienced it as a player when you start your game in foul trouble it seems as though you can never regain yeah. traction more times than not and obviously he's a physical inside player growing and figuring out how to play a physical game and the fouls basically sabotaged his day as you look at Evan Ravenel he too found foul trouble Sam Thompson's going to check back in think about Williams as he's changed his body so much from last year to this season of sophomore year. And not only his body, but I think his frame of mind is starting to change with his body, believing in what he can do and what he's capable of as an interior presence. Again, the foul trouble really hand-tied him today, but he's got tremendous promise going forward. Zeller and Holmes, approaching four and a half to play. Left in the game, nice knocked away by Kraft and picked up by Farrell and inside to Sheehy. Rejected by Williams. Shot clock at 10. Farrell and Kraft. Zeller, big time shot. Zeller with 22. Indiana continues to roll. Like the Buckeyes can't get any traction club. Not at all because this Indiana team is playing at a tremendous level offensively, Kevin. The ball is moving. Screens are being set solidly. Well, the ball is being handled well off the dribble and with the pass. Shot making it is at well over 50%. Boy, when Indiana's going, they've got a beautiful game. They really do. I mean, it's absolutely fun to watch. So many guys that can shoot it, pass it, score it. And they can hurt you inside and outside. And really showing nice poise and discipline. Milking the clock here late. To the shoot. Holmes had it deflected, picked up by Kraft. That doesn't hurt Indiana at all. Plus 14. Used all of the shot clock. Kraft to three. Williams the screen. Oh, the triple three. brings him closer. Three and a half to play. 30 seconds on with Indiana on top by 11. Sheehy gonna be denied by Amir Williams, but Indiana retained possession, and Cody Zeller, aggressive inside and outside today. Action. Cut. Yeah, we're gonna need another wall. What's the number for props? Take a note, make a call, all on the same screen. The quad-core powered LG Optimus G. Relax. Go online for special offers. Applebee's new entrees are full of flavor and under 550 calories each. You have to taste it to believe it. I believe it. I can dig it. Uh-oh. Yep, they tasted it. Big flavor, big portions, starting in just $9.99. See you tomorrow.
Back in Columbus and tomorrow on Dave, don't miss a top 10 with Sports Illustrated swimsuit models. And then Dave reveals the cover. Plus Bill O'Reilly and Tuesday, Bruce Willis. Then catch Craig, it's only on CBS. With Clark Kellogg, Kevin Harlan, we're in Columbus. Most of you know, of course, Clark played at Ohio State. I asked you just moments ago uh, off air if, if this back when you played was your biggest rivalry. He said, absolutely, it was, Indiana. No question. Obviously, in football and just about every other sport, it's Michigan. I mean, we had a good rivalry there. But in basketball, because Bob Knight was the head coach and alumnus of the Ohio State University and a Hall of Famer, and those teams back in the late 70s, early 80s were loaded teams at Indiana. We always amped it up an extra notch or two whenever we faced the Hoosiers. And I think most former basketball players and the current basketball players would, would probably say the same thing. 53% shooting for the Hoosiers. Three to play. Indiana coming in is number one. One of the toughest, if not the toughest league in college basketball. Just to survive in the league is one thing. Then the landscape of college basketball in front. Right now, the Hoosiers number one. IMAX 3D March 1st. Someday your life will flash before your eyes. Make it worth watching. The new 2013 Lexus LS. An entirely new pursuit. Yes! yes! That just happened! Yes, it did. <laughs> no! No! Uh, yes, 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 we did it! Yes, we did it! Yes, we did it! See you, bud. Later. Honey, who was that? Who, that guy? I don't know. Get caught up in the excitement. Buffalo Wild Wings. More wings, more beer, more sports. Hey, who's this? Which would you rather have, a big treehouse or a small treehouse? If it's big enough, you can have a disco. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> It's not complicated. Bigger is better. And AT&T has the nation's largest 4G network. FedEx Cup champion Brent Snedeker leads the field going into the final round at the AT&T Pebble Beach National Pro-Am. Next on CBS. Well, coming up next on CBS, the PGA Tour will take you to one of the most breathtaking settings in all of sports for final round coverage of the AT&T Pebble Beach National Pro-Am. And going into this final round, Grant Snedeker with a one-shot lead over Chris Kirk, two-shot lead over James Hahn. And all the beauty, wonderful views of Pebble Beach. Coming up next on CBS here, number one Indiana is on top by 11. The Buckeyes, Clark, are trying to make a final push. We just saw Kraft, who got his fourth personal foul. And the Buckeyes really in a tough spot here now. It's been tough pretty much throughout the second half, quite honestly, Kevin, the way Indiana has executed. And really has played a half-court game for the most part, which isn't what they like to do, but the fact that they've been able to do it effectively yes. really bodes well for this team going forward, I think. Eating up a lot of clock, too. Here's Zeller. Shot clock is down to seven. He's trying to work his way inside in Ravenel. And a foul called in the big man, Evan Ravenel, from Tampa, Florida. Brandon Heisman. He gets his third personal foul. Zeller will be at the line. We were talking about Bob Knight before, and, and, and I don't care if you're following Bear Bryant or John Wooden, or, or in this case, Bob Knight. 
there is always the shadow cast, regardless of how long he's been gone, and that's certainly one of the things that Tom Crane has had to deal with, but he's, he's done it well. He's handled it beautifully. I mean, there have been a couple of coaches since. Coach Knight left yep. unceremoniously. Uh, Mike Davis obviously got the team to a national championship game back in the early 2000s, and Calvin Sampson. But Crane certainly has gotten Indiana back to national prominence, and they really have a chance, I think, to win it all. And this goes a large way in why I say that, this performance today, Kevin. As you look at Kraft trying to get a three to go, and Zeller in there to grab the rebound. But Indiana wants to play fast. They're one of the highest scoring teams in the country. Points per possession, they're at the very top of the country. And for this team to be able to show against a really good defensive team that it can grind it out in the half court, says we can play a lot of different ways offensively with all of these options we have. And that becomes very difficult to defend as you move through the rest of this conference schedule and then whatever holds for the postseason. But when you start talking about championship caliber teams, you got to be solid defensively. But can you score multiple ways? Can you win multiple styles? And this may be the first time that I've seen Indiana play this kind of predominantly half-court game in the second half and be dominant in doing it. Well said. Oladipo at the line. She's come back in. They rest the freshman Farrell. Road game's coming up now for Indiana. They'll have one in East Lansing against Michigan State. They'll be tied, in fact, at 9-2 with them. Minnesota and Michigan on that road map for the Hoosiers. There's not really an easy place. <laughs> Whoever wins the Big Ten regular season title, Kevin, will have earned it. Oh there gosh. will be no excuses. Nobody's going to back into it. Whoever gets it, gets to the top of the league, will have earned it in a gauntlet of tough, of tough opponents. Kraft with 14, trying to single-handedly now keep him in as Oladipo moments ago just matched his career high with 23 points. guy still fighting, trying to create a turnover, and Kraft does. Kraft gets it up and down! Kraft puts it through. Ten-point game, and there is a glimmer of hope for the Bucs in 124 to play. Wheeling his way inside, throwing his body around. Aaron Kraft puts up a Houdini and makes it count. Feels cool. Halls, let the cool in. Aaron Kraft, I just said single handedly, he has scored the last seven points for the Buckeyes as you take a look at our reset. Yeah, you see both teams over the limit in fouls. Plenty of timeouts left. And 121 straight games without back to back L's for the Buckeyes, and not quite done yet. And in the frenzied February <laughs> of Big Ten basketball, we have to play it until there are zeros on the clock. Oh, that's what they said in South Bend last night, too. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I had to go. I had to turn in after the fourth oh, overtime I not, started. I watched Did every, I watched every, watched every play. play. And it was a you know, fun game, great atmosphere. Good job by Dan and Dick last night. Yeah, I did catch most of it, but you're on that central time zone, so you probably were. Yeah, it was, it was. I was in your hotel here. What are you talking about? Yeah, but your body, your body oh, clock body. is on the central the time zone. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, that's a big miss right there, and we've got Kraft again with the game and the ball in his hands. He get, oh, nice block there by Zeller. Raven will try to clean it up. He got it back, and he puts it in. Eight-point game. Hold on now. Full-court pressure again. Got to be able to make some free throws if you're in the end. A good strategy here by Ohio State. Persistence pays on the offensive glass. Aggressiveness always serves you well in pursuing the pumpkin. The Buckeyes just don't give up on it. Indiana not able to squeeze it, and Ravenel 
Gives the Buckeyes two, and it's an eight-point game. Plenty of time left. Watford, an excellent free-throw shooter. I remind you that the AT&T Pebble Beach National Pro-Am is on deck and is next up on the tee here on CBS. Indiana comes in as the number one team in Big Ten free-throw shooting, 74%. This afternoon, very good, 14 of 17, a little over 82 percent as they stop a 6 nothing run by Ohio State. If you're Indiana here, you want to defend without foul. Make Ohio State use some time. But Clinton Ross continues to emerge 11 points now for us and a timeout taken. 50.4 seconds to play. When it comes to the financial obstacles military families face, we understand. Our financial advice is geared specifically to current and former military members and their families. <laughs> Dad! Life brings obstacles. USAA brings retirement advice. Call or visit us online. We're ready to help. Learn more with our free USAA Retirement Guide. Call 877-242-USAA. As you can see in our game reset, you know, if you go back to last year, Indiana Clark has won six of their last eight games away from Bloomington. And Wells, that's an excellent point. Obviously, they have not won here under Tom Crean, but still, that's impressive when you can go on the road and put together that kind of record over eight games. And the issue now is take care of the ball and make free throws. Ohio State, on the other hand, would love to force a turnover, but if they can't, they'll look to foul immediately. Farrell, he'll try to uh, weave his way around, and he is an 81% free throw shooter. From Indianapolis and in Park Tudor High School, McDonald's All America. And he stands there right now. He's got the keys to the car, and it is some kind of car. We have point guard for this kind of team. No, you've got that right. <laughs> she in. Holes will take a breather. A lot of options out there. A lot of options out there in red uniforms. And all filling wonderful roles. You got the big man from outside. You got the energizer in Sheehy, the low post presence in Zeller, the, the motor in the, the, the spectacular play of. Oladipo, there's a foul, and it goes on Ohio State. Kraft will pick up his fifth. Ohio yeah, he was trying to do a dribble handoff and shield Deshaun Thomas's defender, and he was just a bit overzealous, and he has been Dairy Queen officially. <laughs> DQ do the fouls. 16 points, nice afternoon for Aaron Kraft, who is uh, really taking a lot of his cues this year from an assistant on that sideline, Greg Paulus. Now, if that name rings a bell, it should. He was the point guard for Mike Krzyzewski at Duke. He was a court. There he is right there with his hands on hip, and he is the video coordinator just in his second year. Well, I was talking to him before the game, and he said, he said, I kept every scouting report that Coach K gave us from my freshman year on, and I always, I filled up a couple of notebooks of quotes and ideas. So this is my profession, and I want to do the best I can, and I couldn't be on a better stance. I was blown away when he shared that with us, Kevin. He knew what he wanted to do once his playing days were over, and he's in a good place to continue to grow as a potential head coach himself. Zeller had it. Rabinow was trying to knock it away and finally had to grab him. 39 seconds to play. Rabino picks up five. He'll be the second Buckeye to check out of the game permanently. 12 and 1 was the home record here for Ohio State. We told you earlier the only loss was to Kansas back in December, which was a terrific game. One of the best early season games, really, in, in all of college basketball. Yeah, it sure was. Kansas played well. The Buckeyes fought hard in that one and just couldn't score the ball in the second half. Effort has been good here today as well, but they ran into an Indiana team that I thought executed at a really high level and just took the game away from Ohio State. Ohio State didn't give it to them. Indiana came in and took this road game, and if they continue to, well, 39 seconds, can't say it's over yet. The Hoosiers have missed a couple of free throws here.
Zeller from the line has gone 8 of 11, maybe 7 of 11. And Ross. That's fine in Thompson and Zeller. You get in conference play, you begin to know your team that you're playing oh, your opponent 12, so well, and that's second. what makes it tough for a conference like the Big Ten where you almost cannibalize each other. <laughs> you know what I mean? It, 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 it's so rugged. Now, you're going to come out stronger, right, right. but it is it is a march. <laughs> yeah, it is. In, in January, February, and early March. No, so. no, it's a grind. It's a grueling grind. But I don't think it necessarily, I think it impacts you more in a positive way as you think about postseason mm -hmm. play. I really do. Uh, when you have to go through this type of schedule, and if you emerge on top, obviously you've got the postseason conference tournament that will take place in Chicago at the end of the regular season. Uh, but I think it steals you and fortifies you for a chance to make a deep tournament run as long as you can stay healthy and continue to grow. Blackford pulls it down. In the end of this afternoon, led by Oladipo's 25-24 from Zeller. And a little post whistle contact. And I think Watford got smacked in the face yeah. or maybe poked in the eye. And took exception to that. Let's see. Rebound clean. Swipe. There it is right there. That was LaQuentin Ross. Got him right across the face and nose. Yeah, you'll see it right there with the left hand. Boom. Right there. And that stings and will always elicit a little bit of a reaction. Especially after you've secured the ball there. But. No malice intended by Ross. We'll see if Watford will be able to shoot the free throws. I think he will. Well, this, I know I asked you before we get into the subject once again, back a half hour or so ago, about if this is a must win, and, and you said no. But really for Indiana, considering what they've got ahead on the road, you were this disagreeing win, with me, huh? Well, <laughs> th this, this this becomes a pretty prop. No, no, I and agree. And it becomes big because of the loss to the Illini right, earlier right. in the week. No, exactly. That's why you play them out. And you know what? Depending on what happens over these next couple of games, we may have another game that we say is a must yeah, win. Know. You know well, what I mean? We're going to, definitely. Right, we're right, going to. Right. But, no, I hear you. And for this time and right now, based on what had transpired in Champaign, clearly a win they desperately need wanted to get I'm not quite sure that's ready to say they needed it but they're sure glad to have it and another foul Oladipo will build upon his career high 25 right now so Indiana is going to go to 21 and 3 9 and 2 in Big Ten Conference play they'll have won Clark their sixth game in the last seven their 12th in the last 14 and as we put a stamp on this one here with an Indiana win over a very rugged Ohio State team, in your mind, if you're voting, you keep them at the top spot. Yeah, I would. I mean, everybody has their individual vote when you vote in the polls, but that would be my posture. Again, I don't automatically assume because a team lost that they should move down, whether they're one or ranked anywhere else. Who did they lose to? What else happened around them? Where did they lose? Especially in a season like this. Right, exactly. We've had five teams number one the past month all have lost at one time. Big win for Indiana. A hug from the wife and a big win for Tom Crean for the first time ever in Columbus. For Clark Kellogg, Kevin Harlan saying so long from Columbus, where the Hoosiers at number one beat number 10 Ohio State. Coming up next, live final round coverage of the AT&T Pebble Beach National Pro-Am. This has been a presentation of CBS Sports.